to a smaller one, flip it over because I want the cut side up. You can also do this around a paintbrush if it's easier for you. Press down. I didn't want to flatten it completely. I just want to keep it pinched. Okay. All right, so then the next row above, which you see there, was this one. Is it that one? Yep, it's that one. We're going to put a little bit more of our glue right here on top of these because we need it to hit here. We're going to go in between. If you got arthritis, this is tough. Pinch, set, right between. Makes it fun. And there's no set rule on how many petals to do on this. You can make them as tight as you want. You can take another paintbrush and round it out or a smaller one. See how I'm rounding that around? A little bit easier. Setting it here in between. Okay. Turn, pinch, press. The tighter you make these, you can make them even more wrapped around. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. That makes an even tighter petal if you want to go that route, and then you get more petals and tighter um, blossom. Okay? If you dust this with cornstarch, then it won't stick. So I'll show you what that one looks like. See how that one's more fun? Hmm. A lot of variety to this. The bigger you go, the more petals you can put on. Roll and set, pull it off. You can also use it backwards. Stay with your point to take it off. Oh. Get them close because the other row is going to cover that. Gotcha. Can I ask a quick question while you're doing this? Yes. A uh, question came in. Have you ever uh, had anyone ask your texture, ask about your texture on your buttercream? Yes. Yeah? Yes. What do they say? They love it. How did you do it? Yeah. Trade secret. Trade secret. Yep. Very cool. Flower's almost done. It's looking really pretty. What we're going to do is we're going to dust it. See, I want that tighter, so we're going to wedge it in there. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see at the same time. If your hands or fingers are too big, grab something smaller to help you get in there. Paintbrush. My actual favorite tool is the little bitty palette knife. Oh, yeah. Another question just came in. Uh, can you explain again why do you use the back side of the petal that you cut? because it's helping me get the curl. If I'm using, okay, we're going to the smaller one. It just, the sharpness of that cut is down. Where'd it go? It jumped. It, it jumped it, off. It fled. See, it's just not as sharp as those are on the back side. Plus, that side down is sticky. It's gonna help it make it stick to itself better yep. than the side that's exposed to the air. Yeah. No set size. Smaller the better. If you want to get them really tight, use a smaller paintbrush. Okay, we're going to put a ball of fondant in the middle. Gum paste. Nice round ball. Glued it up. Drop it in there. This is just a quick no-name flower. It's just for fun for Easy. the cake. And see how I missed a couple of petals on that one? Sometimes it happens in nature, so no big deal. All right.